At least one man is dead following a double shooting in North Philly tonight. Police found almost 70 spent shell casings on the scene. I'm Jason Martinez, and this comes in the middle of a violent holiday weekend for the city as Philadelphia passes 200 homicides this year. Chris O'Connell, live at police headquarters. Chris. Well, Jason, 13 people were shot and killed on the streets of Philadelphia over this holiday weekend. The latest happened just a week after where five other people were shot. Another night and another shooting in Jessica Plummer's neighborhood. Every day, yeah, you hear shootings every day around here. The latest shooting happened tonight when a hail of gunfire erupted on her North Philadelphia block. The crime scene itself consists of almost 70 spent shell casings coming from numerous um, weapons, both rifles and also handguns. A 26-year-old man is dead. A 23-year-old man is in extremely critical condition. Police say the victims were targeted. The dinnertime gunfight stretched over three blocks near the corner of 17th and Oxford. Even police were surprised with the firepower. We were able to recover four handguns from this incident. Uh, two of them, at least two of them, have extended magazines, high-capacity magazines. It was the same corner where Fox 29 covered a mass shooting of five people less than two weeks ago. People who live nearby can't escape the nightly violence. It's just kind of scary being out here, like, you know, can't even take my kids outside. It's crazy. And I'm scared to even work, like, every day, you know, doing what I'm doing because I got to go through this neighborhood to get to work, you know. Now, police believe they have one of the shooters in custody. They think there may be three or more shooters still out there. And Jason, literally in the last minute and a half, there's been another shooting in the city of Philadelphia. A woman shot at Penn Treaty Park. Unbelievable. Chris O'Connell at headquarters. Thank you, Chris. Let's get to our website.